I don't know exactly what's going on, but there is so much crazy information flying around out there. And on this channel, What's the Obsession, we are going to stick tight to the facts and information that is relevant or has become relevant to this case. So you may or may not know that a woman named Megan, who claimed to be a mother of some trucky teens, and we were able to confirm that, yes, she, in fact, is the mother of some trucky teens. Um, had some insider knowledge about what happened to Kylie on that tragic night. And when she first came onto the YouTube circuit, she was guns ablazing, standing up for Sammy Smith, making sure that she was doing her best to get the message out. Guys, Sammy had nothing to do with it. Sammy's innocent. Stop talking about Sammy. Don't look at Sammy. Sammy, 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 Schwammy. On several channels, including my own channel, Watch the Obsession, she told her story, but she told a different story every time she appeared on a different channel. And basically, what remained kind of the same in her story was that she had obtained some insider information and talked to somebody who definitively knew what happened to Kylie that night. This is what you're about to hear. The audio is terrible. So for the first round, I am going to read you the transcript of Megan talking to this unnamed person who works in a grocery store, and you will also see the transcript on the screen, courtesy of Conspiracy T. And then I'm going to play the interview without my narration, where you will hear the original sound on the discussion that Megan recorded without the other party's knowledge when the other party is telling Megan about seeing something the night Kylie went missing between midnight and 2 a.m. and that she reported this occurrence to law enforcement. So the writing that is in yellow, that is the person that Megan is interviewing in the grocery store. And the writing that is in white, that is Megan speaking. Okay. So I'm going to read this transcript and you will also see the words on the screen because they're really hard to hear. So I'm hoping that you can follow along and hear all the information there is to be offered. I just want to say that for I myself. Because I know you and I know the guys, they won't tell, but I just, I'm just going to write things. Well, they already know I talked to one of the investigators. Because when I went to the center, I, I like, we were drinking, right? Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't 100% sure I saw that car. Because we were drinking and we were, we, we were out doing our business. So in like one turn, I saw the car and get super close to the water. Does anybody get out of the car? I don't know. We were on the other side. So like here's the canal. And this is where she went in, right here. And you guys are over here. Okay, so she went in here and you saw her go into the water. I got super, super close. That's what I saw. So one of my friends distracted me. Cause I was having fun, you know, and she's like, Hey, so I turned around and then I was like, I was like, what the fuck? And I thought I saw a car, but I didn't pay attention though. You guys didn't call 911. No, I didn't call 911 cause I wasn't sure. Cause when I turned again, I couldn't see the car anymore. And you talked to them, you told them that, did they say it was already checked or they didn't say anything? No, they didn't say anything. And I showed the guy, I was like, look, what time was that at? That you said, okay, never mind, go ahead. So I told them, I showed them the clues. I told them what I saw, and he's just like, oh, okay, so do you think if if someone gets um, a hold of you tomorrow, you show us exactly where you were? Are you willing to do it? I was like, fuck yeah, sure. Inaudible. I was like, I can show you right exactly where I saw the car. And he's like, we'll, we'll give you a call. Someone will probably call you. And then they never called. They never called. So did you talk to someone at... I fucking pissed when I saw. I was fucking pissed when I saw. Where they took out the car. I was fucking, I told them. I was so mad. And that you saw it going in that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking straight up showed them the spot. And I don't know. I was fucking pissed when I saw that car. Like, when they pulled it out, I was like, fuck. 
because they made everyone, because they made everyone look for two weeks and they knew it was there the whole time. They knew it was there. But you said someone called 911, said someone, but I'm telling you, I wasn't positive. I wasn't sure about it. Right. But when you saw it come out, you knew it was Kylie. Yeah. I started to hear that she's missing. I told my sister, I was like, you know, I saw this and, and my heart's telling me it's her. I wish I would have known. I wish I, I wish I would have known. I would have gone again. And you know, because you don't fucking trust the authorities. I was like, they probably are checking it out. It was just fucking, cause I wasn't hundred percent sure. Cause it was fucking dark. I just saw the lights driving really close to the water. She was driving super close, slow. Okay. And then I'm turning and I turned to my friends. When I turned again, I didn't see the lights anymore. So I didn't 100% see what went on. I just know that I got super close. And you didn't see anyone get out or there was just like headlights, no other cars around. There was no one just like all by herself. Just one or one from the car that you saw. I just saw those lights. Okay. So anyway, I, I because you want to know, it's because I'd heard that there was a 911 call. And if it was to your boss, she was just talking because I said, she said you guys were upset about it. And I said, I keep hearing about it, which is funny because I keep hearing. I kept saying the Mexican party. Don't take offense, but that's how I talk. And that's not meant to be. I was with three people. We were hanging out after work. Four? No, it was three. Three. So, oh, that's four with you three with me. Okay. Three. Okay. We were just kicking and having a little drink because we were night crew and we went and had a drink after work. I get it. I understand. And that's where I just kept saying, how did no one see her in the headlights? And she, but now that you say it was going super slow, do you think that it rolled in or do you think she was pushed in? I don't know. Okay. I'm just curious. I do. I do. As soon as, because of course I heard about it. I came here. I was just talking about, I was like, when she went in, it was because it came up on my phone. I was like talking about a mouse on a different aisle from your boss. And I said, Kylie came up on my phone and he's like, one of my girls was out there having a drink after work and they called 911 and I went, what? And so that was, so I didn't. And so she's like, I'm not giving your name or pretty much I have an idea of who they are. Like, I'm not here to like do anything. Like, I don't want to say your name. But if you had a name, don't tell me, but I just wanted to see, but it's for me because now I'm like, because of course, if they call 911, the police could know the whole time. No, they didn't call because you didn't call. You weren't hundred percent sure. And I didn't, I told you, I didn't see it directly go in. I saw it get super close. Right. But I was pointing at my phone in the map. I was telling that fucking guy, this was the location right now that I'm hearing. I'm pretty sure it was telling you, I told him, and this other lady came with me because she, sometimes my fucking English is like when I get nervous and she's, she was there hearing everything I told him. And when, when he saw the car, the location where I showed you, I was like, I told my sister, I was like, I wish I could tell the parents or something. It took them two weeks just to find her. And that's not fair. And I went there three or four days after that. So you went back to the same place three or four days. No, no, no. I went to talk to them. Okay, because everyone is saying, so you're saying this happened between 12 and 2. Because <clears throat> they were saying they have it, they didn't see her after 1230. It would have been earlier in that night or later in the night. No, it was between 12 and 2. Like, so what if, I don't remember what time it was. Like when you get there, say 12, it was 15 minutes later. It was an hour later. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, we were there between 12 and 2. 12 and 2. Okay. Like you said, it's not like I'm like, because I'm telling people what I know. And we're putting it together. We're trying to put it together. I'm just like, I want to know if I'm crazy. <laughs> because like if I'm crazy, then I can let it go. But when I heard that, I just don't want to, I'm like I said, I don't want to involve you. I just don't want to. I don't want to bring up your name. I just wanted to know for myself if I might, I'm just, because they know the information. They know my information. Well, they're not telling anybody anything. They're not telling anybody anything. They're not picking like up because she said they didn't scoop up someone. I'm not, I don't know. It was like I said, because they were like, it's just the day they found her. Two days later, she was found. And the girls told him the first night I was like, 
like I had talked to you, I would have gone with you because I, this is like, I, this is like someone needs to tell them to go search there. And I would have made them. Well, I did go with my sister and I'm telling you, I didn't went again because I trusted them. I was like, they're probably searched that entire place. It was just my mind. Okay, well, thank you very much for talking to me. I just don't want you to think that it was like just for me. It's like more for me to be able to like in my head because I'm like, it's driving like the 911 call. I would have thought that they would have said something. Imagine me that when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> because by now, you know, nothing. I mean, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I like. And I wasn't like directly, but I like, 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 had you gone, would you know, on to if you'd seen it, like, trust me, trust me. I'm, I'm, I'm in a depression right now because my dad passed away. And it took a month to feel better about her case. Cause I was like, fuck, you need to get counseling. I mean, it shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's a lot of kids, but they're trying to say it, it's not fair. And I'm trying to debunk the kids. Because they're, they're picking up people. So when I said that they could see that you had taken pictures and the Snapchat, like a video would come up until someone said that they were, and they talked to you, <clears throat> that you guys were here to there. So then when I came up just a couple weeks, like two weeks later, because I hadn't gone because I was dealing out with this, <clears throat> I went, wow, like my skin, like the hair stood up. Because I'm like, is it true? I really, I kind of just debunked it. But I went into maybe I need to know for myself. So I was like, I don't want to go and bug everyone. And I didn't want to make it weird afterwards. I'm sorry that you had to go. I hope there are friends here because it's not fair. It's not fair. And I would. And that's because they take you wouldn't take you seriously enough. Because I can see it in your eyes. Don't cry. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. I, you didn't know. It's not your fault. Okay. And I would, and it's not you. No, no, it's not you. So I want someone and that's to try to find the right person. They could have, they could have done it right. And, and, and I don't want you to be on social media and I don't want to mention it on social media because if I mention it on social media for you, I know that it's okay. And I'm not going to say your name. I just want to say that if I say this is what I told you, can I, that I heard it, Shh. I'm an advocate for these kids and for Kylie. So I might tell someone on social media, I'm better. The first days when I was like, fucking assholes, they should have fucking paid more attention to our comments. I told them, I was like, I'm ready in a time. I can go right now. And I told the guy to show you where I saw the car. Inaudible. But when you saw it come down, you, it was the exact place where you saw the car go under the water. Yeah, it was her. My sister was there. She said she went hiking that day. And she saw it. Inaudible. Took a video of it. And she's like, it looks like where they were. Inaudible. And I was like, wow. I started crying. Here, let me give you my number. So now I'm going to play the recording as it is with the transcript on the screen because it's very difficult to hear the discussion between Megan who recorded this conversation without the other party's knowledge. And oh, by the way, the voice of the person Megan is talking to has been changed apparently to protect her identity, but I want you guys to be able to hear this anyway. So you, so you were personally assault. You didn't call the police, but you personally saw the crime. Well, I was a hurt. It was super bad. And there was no time to get We were able to find the truth. And so was it happy earlier than you mean? Or earlier? So between 12 and 12, I'm going to write things down because that way, I'm because some people are covering things up and they don't want you, and I'm not mentioning your name. Don't worry, your name is never going to be mentioned. Yeah, so, I mean, I just want to say that I, for myself, because I, I don't know you guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
doing it, but did you get to do it? Yeah, because I wasn't sure. And I didn't tell you, totally, I didn't start to do it, I was like, damn, I just started that super super good. Right. But I was playing on my phone with my face, and I was like, it was super good, because you didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't know what I was doing. on social media because you'll get attacked just like everybody else does. So if I mention it on social media for you, I know that it's okay. And I'm not going to say your name because I don't know your name. I just want to say that if I say this is what I've told you, you can hear it. And you're like, okay, she did tell me the truth. Because I'm an advocate for these kids and for Kaylee. And I just want to make sure that it's... So I'm like, how come you? I'm 
better than that. The first day when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm so proud. I wish you fucking paid more attention to our comments. And I told him, I was like, I'm, I'm ready. Any time I can go right now and pull the guy to show you something where I saw that car that got so fucked up. I said, yeah, we'll call you tomorrow. I was like, they probably checked me. He was like, oh. But when you saw it come out, you knew it was the exact same place when you saw that car come out. I there. My sister was there. She said she went hiking that country. And she saw it. She, she, she um, took a video of it. She's like, look, this is where the car was coming in the car. Like, I watched her. I was like, I started crying. I was crazy. I was like, that's this car right there. It's too hard for you. Here, let me give you my number. This is my number. If you ever, ever, if you ever need anything, anything, anything else, you call that number.